I was interested in um, cases where people in one society had a significant influence on the moral development of another society. I came across a case which was the 19th century and early 20th century abandonment of foot binding in China, in which it was said in the histories that I read that uh, one of the central things that happened was that the Chinese gave up foot binding because it was uh, a stain on their national honor. The first time I read that, I must say, I remember thinking, that's really weird. Uh, I can think of a thousand good reasons not to mutilate the feet of little girls and national honor is not very high on my list. The, the, the thing that held foot binding in place was the fact that an honorable family's daughters had to be, have their foot, feet bind in order that uh, they could be respected and in order that they could be marriageable. So honor is tied up with these band practices. On the other hand, it turns out to be very much tied up with what brings them to an end. Uh, what happens at the end of this process in China is that uh, girls with bound feet become unmarriageable as opposed to having been marriageable. And so this is a case of a moral conversation across societies. I think that um, the, the key insight one gets from reading the accounts of the Chinese who responded to this uh, is that they responded because they realized that the people that they were talking to, these outsiders, had a fundamental respect for China and for Chinese civilization which was being undermined by this practice. So honor changes sides in these moral revolutions and it also the community of the activists against it the people who work against it the abolitionists against slavery the anti foot binding societies in china uh, these people are held together by a collective sense of the honor of their project they together are working uh, in the case of china for the honor of china but also they're bound to each other by the commitments they've made to each other which are commitments of honor they respect one another the hope is not that everybody's going to come to agreement about everything, but that we can agree on, a, on certain fundamental standards. Uh, I would like those to be the standards of human rights, uh, certain fundamental standards, and say that people who don't live up to these standards are not entitled to our respect, and people who live up to them are.